My name is Lorraine and I help people live with passion, purpose and positivity. Welcome to my channel. Let's dive right into this video. Let go, the universe has a plan. So I'm going to talk from experience and tell you something that happened to me, a real life example about how I'm letting go and how I'm allowing the universe to just help me and just to follow in its footsteps. I did say in a previous video that I did that I was doing a course called um, on hospitality and you know I was out of my comfort zone the first week was quite hard but then over the weekend just gone there was a, a course and like assessments at the end of the course and then on the Monday which was yesterday there was going to be an exam anyway I was getting in a right state <laughs> over this assessment and I, and I know I'm sort of like high vibration and all this sort of thing but technology makes me like that and you know at the end of the day we're all, all, all human aren't we and I don't know whether there's anything that makes you feel like that it makes you get stressed and you know presses your triggers and all this sort of thing but anyway, so I did this um, assessment thing. It was really hard, and then at the end of it, you had you had to get five questions right. And I got halfway through it, and then I went on to it the next day, which was the Sunday. Anyway, the last questions there were thirty four questions. Question seventeen, I was right at the end. I couldn't get it right. Anyway, I got it right in the end after a really long time. Then the whole lot didn't didn't save I, I thought to myself I, I'm, I'm not gonna do it I'm not, I can't do this course it's too hard I'm not that bothered about it I mean this is what I love doing hospitality isn't really my thing but this is what I love doing but I thought you know any any knowledge is good you know and I was gonna get a qualification but I thought no I'm gonna tell Dawn on Monday that I'm not going to do it I'm not gonna get stressed about it because I always like to feel happy so Monday comes and Dawn rings me. It's the start of the class, and I says, "Dawn, I'm really sorry. I can't do. I can't do this course. It's too hard, you know." I says, I, <laughs> "Remarkably, I says I'm a nana, as if that's got anything to do with it. That's no excuse." <laughs> uh, anyway, she says, "No, you're not. You're going to do it." I, oh my God, she's making me. <laughs> She says, you've done so well so far. And I had done okay the first week. You know, we had these workbooks and you had to fill in the um, answers. And she would, she would tell you the answers. But it wasn't an exam. An exam was, like, really, really scary. I says, yeah, but I says, I can't do the, I can't do the exam today. So I says, I've not done the um, course. She says, yes, you can. <gasps> she says, no such thing as can't. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually my motto, but in this case, I was I was being tested. I was definitely, definitely out of my comfort zone. So I was resisting all the way, resisting, resisting, but I was being made. I was being made to do something and push myself out of my comfort zone. So the Monday comes, I'm in class, and I've said I can't do it. She says you can. And you know, I have a. She did. We did a mock exam of of the exam that was going to be later. And she says, I've, "I can still do the um, exam." Oh my god! I thought, oh my god. Anyway, I got twenty two out of thirty for the for the mock exam. The actual work I find quite easy. It's just the technology. You know, in these times, you've got to do everything online, haven't we? And I oh, I just get stressed about it. There's no point in getting stressed about it, is there? Anyway. So, right, okay, I'm going to do the exam. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so, at the end of the class, quick two out of 30, uh, there's three other people, they, another guy at Kiriakis passed, it was like, I think it was 13 out of 20, 20 no, 22. You had to get 22 to pass this mock exam. Anyway, I just passed, Kiriakis got 24, and then another couple of people didn't pass the mock Anyway, so Dawn says good luck to everybody, you know, see you tomorrow and, you know, good luck with your exam. Oh my God, here we go. <laughs> so it's one o'clock and the, and, the and the exam started at, at four. So I had three hours, three hours to 
you know, get get the technology right to do this this exam. And I don't know when whether any of you have done an exam online. But what you have to do is before they invite you into the exam, you've got to tick about seven boxes um, to make sure your mic's working, your webcam's working, your speakers are working, your Wi-Fi's working, this working, that your browser, blah de blah de blah. So I, I, I follow the prompts, you know, next, next. I get into trouble. I start talking to this Sophia on the technology side. <laughs> and uh, I gradually get it ticked off. And you got oh, then you got to open an app on your phone, prop to exam, open an app. And then you've got to scan the app. And then, well, the, I'll tell you what that's, that, what that's for in a minute. So I get through all the ticks, the ticks, the ticks. And then I get to the end, and then I do something wrong on my phone, and then I'm back to normal. <gasps> so I'm glad no one was in the house to witness me being a complete nutter. <laughs> I can't do it, I can't do it. Um, but I still like, you know, I'm still pushing myself, pushing myself, pushing myself out of my comfort zone. I mean, at the end of the day, you're not going to die, are you? It's not like the end of the world. <laughs> But I, I don't know, there's something about technology and I think um, people of my generation feel that because they've not been brought up with it. You know, my way of doing exams is, you know, have a timer in the classroom, write it out, you know, hand it in. And, that, and the actual work of the exam I found was quite easy really. You know, you just have to listen and remember this sort of thing. Anyway, so, so Sophia, the tech girl, very patient, God knows what she thought of me, she says, Turn turn your computer off and then on again. So I did that. I turned my computer off, then on again. And all of a sudden, tick, tick, tick. And then, you know, scanned me, scanned me phone, blah, 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 blah. <gasps> And then I was invited. And then what happens is they invite you to for, for the exam. Right, so, right, so I follow all the steps. And it says this is box. Start your exam. I thought, right, I'm set up. I've got my phone ready. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with the phone in it. I've got my phone ready. It's going to start the exam at half three and it can go on till five, right? So, it, oh God, I was, I was so nervous. <laughs> I had all my props. You know, you know, you know, I'm like Archangel Michael, the feathers, the feather, the card. I didn't have it in the room. I had the feather under my laptop. And then I had the other things in the room next door, so it's near to me. Because I always feel like Archangel's looking after me, hovering over me. So, yes, yeah, so I had this excited anticipation before the exam. And as I was all set up, I was really pleased I'd been able to do it. It's a blinking miracle. <laughs> and, you know, and then I started walking up it, and then I started doing a little bit of meditating. I'm a genius, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. Walking up and down the kitchen... I'm a genius, I'm a genius, I'm a genius. <laughs> and I know, I know the mind work is, you know, very, very important. You know, all the resistance and the stress. I, ca I caused all them problems myself. I do know that. And if I just follow the baby steps that the universe gives me, you know, I would be fine. You know, like, like I've titled the video, Let Go, The Universe Has a Plan, which it always does. Anyway, so I'm all set up for the exam. Half three, log on to the exam, and then there's this this girl sitting there at a desk, and she's I've got to I've got so there's a screen with see can see me, so I I have to show my ID, my passport on the screen, get it in the right box, can get it in the right box, take a photo of myself, and then I saw her looking, and then the next, and it tells you to do the next step, the next step is scan the room with the phone, scan the room with the phone, then scan the ceilings, scan under the table. I'd washed under my table, thank goodness. <laughs> scan under the table uh, and then pop your phone up behind you so the phone can see you so you don't cheat. You know, it's so easy to cheat. Oh, yeah, another thing. Scan your ears. I had to scan my ears. You know, I put the put the phone behind me so they could see that I wasn't cheating. Start the exam. I thought, right, I'm gonna get this done as quickly as possible. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna be it's gonna be it's multiple choice questions. Du, du, du. And Dawn, the tutor says, you know, it's a process of elimination. 
So I went through, it's, no it's not that one, no not that one, maybe, maybe that one, maybe. So sometimes, mostly I knew straight away, Shh. a few others, maybe, it was like the subject is on food safety because I'm, I'm doing a hospitality course. So, duh, duh, duh. yeah, no that one. No, that one. Mm, not sure about that one. I put that one, changed my mind to that one. I got it done in 20 minutes. <laughs> right. So, end of the exam. Have you finished the exam? Yes. Do you want to review it? No. I was quite confident with me, my, my answers. Finish. Anyway, a minute later it comes up. Congratulations, Lorraine Dennison. You got 20 out of 20. <laughs> Can you believe that? I nearly didn't do it. Oh my God, it is a miracle. But it's just an example of what I'm saying about letting go. The universe has a plan. Um, you know, it's always about divine timing. There's a time for everything. And things happen for a reason, don't they? You know, and the reason I feel that this has happened, I've been forced out of my comfort zone, is to learn about technology. See, I do these YouTube channels and I've, I've got everything set up, I've got a website and everything, but like technology holds me back a little bit, I'm a little bit frightened of it, and I do procrastinate, I'll, I'll admit to that, you know, I admit I'm only human. And that has taught me that I can, I can do it, you know. The universe has taught me, it's forced me out of my comfort zone, it's taught me to let go, let go of all that resistance, what a waste of energy and time getting all stressed like that, when I could have just gone boop, 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 and, you know, just trusted that it's always the next logical step, you know, like Martin Luther King said, the famous saying, take one step at a time, you don't need to see the whole staircase, it will be revealed to you. So, yeah, just let go. If there's something that you want, don't be frightened. Go ahead, do it, even though you're scared. I was, I was so scared. I don't know why I was so scared about an exam. The exam was a breeze. It was just a technology that was frightening me. But just do it anyway. Do it anyway. Let go of your fears because your fears are part of your pattern that's inside of you. You can do anything. If you want if you want if you've got the desire to do something or have something, the universe has the ability to give it to you. So just let go, let go of the fears push your head, even though you're scared, like I did, I was, all the time, I was, oh, you know, but I'm still doing it, still doing it, still doing it, and then the universe is, you know, push, it's, it's almost like, I had Archangel Mark at my back, or above me and my back, I was being pushed, pushed beyond my comfort zone, that, you know, in the, into the unknown, it was so scary, I mean, I can't remember the last time I had an exam. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Such a long time ago. 15, 20 years ago, maybe more. You know, this isn't what I do. <laughs> but it's taught me. It's taught me to learn my new computer. It's taught me things about Google Drive and how to download PDFs. How to, you know, lo so much stuff, so much stuff. There's so much to know, isn't it? And some people enjoy technology. I don't actually enjoy it, but it's it's part of this this. Uh, plan this big dream that I've got is to get my message out there to live live your life with passion purpose and positivity so I've got to learn technology haven't I yeah I could get people to do it but it's best if you know yourself isn't it so I hope this helped I hope I didn't go on too much about my experience and you enjoyed the story and I hope I hope it benefits you you know because you know you can be do have anything get out there do it let go the universe has a plan for you let it let it Light the path up for you and follow the baby steps, follow the breadcrumbs. You'll be there. You'll be there to your dreams. I promise. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this uh, video, please press the like button, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification. I'll be putting a link below of my free ebook, It Works, which was written by an anonymous millionaire nearly 100 years ago. And it simplifies the law of attraction. It's only 28 pages long and it's well worth the read, I believe. I'll also put a link to my website, Instagram and Facebook page. Blessings to you, my friends. Much love and namaste.